Hey everyone, Alexis Garcia here. And when I'm not making videos for YouTube, I am the host of a podcast on Investors Business Daily called Growth Stories. And on that show, we take a look at some of the trends and innovations that are driving the market's next big winners. Now you can consider this your Cliff Notes version of the podcast, but you can always subscribe in the links below. Now on the latest episode, we had reporter Jillian Rich stop by to talk about the airline industry's push to go green. Now, as many of you are probably aware, sustainable investing or ESG investing has become really hot among investors. And as climate change becomes an increasing topic of discussion on Wall Street, a lot of airlines are grappling with how to clean up their act. Now to do this, the aviation industry is looking at several options to tackle carbon emissions. First, let's define the problem. Now, right now, the industry estimates that airline travel accounts for about 2.5% of global emissions. Now, if you're like me, you're probably sitting there wondering, well, gee, you know, that's a really small number. Is changing anything going to really put a dent in those carbon emissions? Now, the thing is, that number won't always stay so small. Thanks to the growth of the middle class in places like China and India, a lot more people are going to be traveling by plane for the first time ever. So that number is expected to grow. And it's not just that people are going to be flying a lot more, but as we mentioned earlier, the growth of ESG investing and especially these activist investor movements around climate change issues really do affect the bottom line of a lot of these airliners and industry executives want to be out in front of this issue. So how are airlines planning to go green? Well, the first big thing is the use of biofuels or what is known as sustainable aviation fuel. Now, this is an alternative to traditional jet fuel, and it's made from things like vegetable oil, algae, rotting fruit, and even used diapers. Now, sustainable aviation fuel could cut carbon pollution from planes by about 60%, and that would put air travel on par with buses and trains. Now, several airlines, including United, American, Virgin Atlantic, and Air France, already power airplanes with a blend of conventional fuel and biofuel, though biofuels only really account for a very, very tiny part of the mix. But here's the drawback. Right now, biofuels cost about four times as much as conventional jet fuel, and they make up less than 1% of the fuel available in the market. So that creates kind of this catch 22 with the technology right now because biofuels are more costly than kerosene, but airlines aren't buying enough of biofuel for producers to make more and lower the cost. So the biofuel demand really needs to be there for supply to increase and supply needs to be there for demand to increase. Now the next technology showing a lot of promise are hydrogen planes. Now hydrogen fuel is considered the holy grail of energy sources by some because it would do the most to lower carbon emissions. So instead of of planes pumping out carbon using jet fuel, they would instead only emit water while traveling. So who are the players working on bringing this technology to the runway? So some of the big players right now are Plug Power, who is working with Airbus on developing a hydrogen fuel cell powered plane, and United, which is also in the forefront for using biofuels, they're also betting that hydrogen aircraft is gonna play a part in the future. But of course, hydrogen right now has some drawbacks because it's not quite as clean and green as we'd like to think it is. So right now, most of the hydrogen produced in the US is what we call gray hydrogen, meaning that it comes from natural gas. And as you may know, we have to drill for natural gas, so we're probably creating more carbon doing that than we're probably going to save at this point. Now, the gold standard would be green hydrogen, and that would be made from renewable resources like solar, wind, and water power. Now, to get those types of renewable energy sources is probably going to take a lot of government investment. And finally, there's going electric. So electric cars have really made a splash in auto markets, especially with Tesla kind of making EVs a sexy little sports car. But the industry faces a lot of challenges trying to put batteries on aircraft. And one of those challenges is that batteries weigh a lot. And one analyst told us that pound for pound, jet fuel provides 14 times more energy than a battery right now. So to really shift to electric, the industry would really need to focus on technology that would make batteries usable in larger aircraft. Because right now, any electric aircraft would basically have to service a smaller regional market. And of course, there's things like air taxis that are in development that could take people in between closed cities like Baltimore or DC, 
or from the suburbs to inside the city center. Now, those are just a few options of the technologies that airlines are looking at to go green. And of course, the timeline for when all this would be implemented is so broad. I mean, we're looking at like 2030 or 2050 for some of this stuff. But the main thing to keep in mind for investors and analysts who are looking at the airlines that they want to see that they're making progress on some of these sustainability pledges and moving toward making meaningful changes. So again, they're not caught back footed and they'd be ahead of these issues as they start to take shape over the next few years. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe to my channel by hitting the button below and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Are you concerned with sustainability goals when making investments? And what other factors do you look at before buying into a company? So pop off in the comment section below. And again, you can listen to the full episode where we talk about all this and more by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.